Castro, we saw FBI Director James Comey go into the Senate today. He apparently briefed the Senate Intelligence Committee for nearly three hours. It was about Russia, we are told. Do you have any sense of any of the details that were discussed? I don't, uh, but I do hope that it's moving the investigation in the Senate forward. I hope uh, whatever was discussed will also be discussed with the House Intelligence Committee. It's important to have a full and fair investigation into what happened with the Russians in the 2016 presidential election. And really because Americans deserve an answer to one basic question. Did any Americans conspire with the Russian hackers who were responsible for interfering with our elections? And if so, those Americans should be prosecuted to the full extent of the law, no matter how high up the chain it goes. Um, Congressman, we do know, CNN has learned from law enforcement sources, that the FBI doesn't intend to pursue charges uh, against Michael Flynn, against General Flynn for his conversation with the Russian ambassador. They don't think there was any law that was broken that is worth recommending charges for. Uh, in your mind, does that not mean that perhaps there isn't as much here? Well, again, you know, I've not been briefed on that, so it's hard to say. Uh, it, it is disturbing that he may have had, based on public reports, these conversations with uh, Russian, the Russian government vis-a-vis -vis the ambassador, mm -hmm. uh, the fact that uh, reports came out that other campaign advisors of the Trump campaign were talking to either the Russian government or Russian intelligence agents. So all of that uh, is quite disturbing, I think, for millions of Americans. And we've got to have a full investigation to get to the bottom of it. Yes, it's important to resolve the issue with General Flynn. And I, I said last week, uh, this past week that it was a step in the right direction for him to resign but there's still so many unanswered questions that need to be answered do you want to see the transcript of that conversation do you think it should be made public uh, i absolutely want to see the transcript and just like any other piece of evidence i think as much as possible this stuff should be de declassified because the american people should be able to see as much as possible so congressman uh, president trump has made clear that he doesn't think particularly highly of the media a and tonight uh, he wrote the fake news media, failing New York Times, NBC News, ABC, CBS, CNN, is not my enemy. It is the enemy of the American people. I wonder if I can get your reaction to that, Congressman. Uh, that kind of talk is dangerous. What we've seen from President Trump and when he was a candidate also is this eagerness to delegitimize major institutions in society. So when he talks about so-called judges or when the White House essentially questions the authority of courts or the judiciary to make rulings about a president's executive order, uh, when he talks about the press and keeps berating them, talks about how disliked they are uh, during the campaign when he would turn to his supporters and get them all riled up against all of the press that were in the press pen, he really is trying to aggrandize himself, paint himself as an American savior, as the only one who can save the country, uh, and trying to belittle other institutions like the judiciary and like the press. Uh, and to me, it just seems dangerous. Well, you, you know, people don't, there are people out there who don't like the media, and a lot of his supporters don't think particularly highly of the media. No, I think that's right, but I think it's more than just his analysis. His, you know, the, it's not like he's writing for the Columbia Journalism Review here, a just an analysis about the press. He's doing it to strengthen his own hand so that people will be more reluctant to question his authority and his decisions. And for our American democracy, uh, that's not a good thing. Congressman Joaquin Castro, thanks so much for being with us. Have a great weekend. Thank you.